Hey guys, Jared Travis 21 here. So, uh, as many of you guys know, I do play Fallout 4, and I do play on the Xbox One, so I do have access to mods on that game, and that's the only one. Now, some of you guys who have watched some of my Fallout 4 videos probably have seen some deal, some, uh, mods in there that, you know, you're wondering what they are, etc., etc. Today, I'm going to count down the top 10 mods that are in my list. Now, I do have some honorable mentions, so I'll mention them later. But we're going to start off on number 10. And it is, it's number 10 because it is cheating. It is going to give you an unfair advantage if you use it the way I've been known to use it. So, it is Cheat Terminal by Nexus AU. This will allow you to spawn ammunition. Uh, in survival mode, it'll allow you to teleport anywhere so you don't have to fast travel, because you can't in survival mode. It'll let you spawn food, water, increase your level, etc., etc., etc. It's a really good mod if you just, you know, uh, with a lot of the mods I have downloaded, your starting weapon that you get in Vault 1 at, at the beginning of the game doesn't always spawn, so it's nice to have a mod that lets you get ammo so you can, when you make a uh, uh, one of the weapons later on the list. So next is number nine. This is one me and Sullivan both like. It is, uh, we have two different mods that do the same thing, but number nine is Scrap Everything, and it is by Master Gamer 500 I think is what he was going for. Uh, it lets you scrap anything that is in the game that is supposed to be in that file in, uh, your settlements. The reason I bring that up is I have a mod that is currently active for some reason. I haven't figured out which one it is. I have to go into my mod menu. But if you've seen me play and you see Sanctuary, the army truck that's there that has uh, the skeleton in it and the energy crate, the steamer trunk in the back of it, it, you can't scrap that. You can't scrap the big rusted up truck that's in the middle of the road, and that sucks. Because that's just sitting there that's wasting your space. But you can scrap anything else. I've scrapped buildings. I've scrapped uh, leaves on the ground, etc. It's really nice. It lets you scrap all the shit in your area to get to get supplies or just to make it look nice. You know, not all of us wanted the lopidated building in the middle of our settlement. We'd rather run a prefab. Um, number eight is a weapons mod that... A spawns in a gun that I quite like in real life. Uh, it is the Jericho 941 mod by Higayusi. Higosi. Uh, H I G E Y O S I. It's a really nice gun. You can customize this with special grips, uh, cheat grips, cheat receiver. Uh, bayonet, suppressor, etc., etc. It's a very nice mod. The gun is amazing. It's nice. Coupled with the cheat terminal, you give it a two-shot effect, which a lot of my guns rely on the two-shot effect. I love the two-shot effect. It just makes it a nice gun. Uh, the issue with Fallout 4, in my opinion, is it didn't have a good sidearm system. When I build my character, I want to build it around what it would be like in real life. So my character is going to have a primary gun, a long gun, so it's either going to be a shotgun, a sniper rifle, uh, an assault rifle, and then if I'm building an assault storm build, which is what my military build is, I run with a assault rifle, an SMG, preferably an HK MP5, something like that, and, you know, really nice gun, and I, I like to have a good sidearm. Well... Uh, number one on the list, its sidearms aren't exactly what I like. So I have two different sidearm mods that give me two different choices in sidearms, depending on how nostalgic I want to be. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Number seven, if you played Fallout New Vegas, you've seen the service rifle, the assault carbine, and you love these guns. They're sexy, they're immaculate, you get that M4 assault carbine in your arms, and you're like, mm, yeah, get some, bitch! This mod allows you to do that, and it gives you unique variants. Uh, I just logged into Fallout 4 a little while back, and I found that they had spawned in the survivalist rifle from Fallout New Vegas into Fallout 4. 
with the same bent iron sight and everything. You know, it's an immaculate, it is sexy. Number seven is the Assault Carbine HD by... Pantera... I think it is Pantera 2099. It's really nice, they have some really nice guns. It is just sexy. It is a lovely gun to just have. And, you know, it, it gives you options. If you don't like number one on the list and you don't want to use it, this is one that gives you access to these guns, but you won't find NPCs using them. And it, that's what makes it really fun. And really nice. Uh, number six, you know, if you're like me, you want to max out your defensive and build a huge perimeter. On my first playthrough of Fallout New Vegas, uh, Fallout 4, after I got all the DLC, I immediately built a huge concrete wall around my around Sanctuary Hills, which was my primary base. And I quickly ran out of room on building stuff. Like I had no room to build anything else. I couldn't build prefabs. I had to scrap stuff to build room for the beds and everything, and it, it pissed me off. So I went into the mods when they released mods, and I found No Build Limit by Stormlord. This is just what it says. You have no build limit on any of your war settlements. I, I have one settlement where no one lives there, and it is nothing but turrets. There's like a billion turrets on this, in this settlement. Now you still have settlement build area. I haven't found a mod that takes that away, which sucks. Well, actually, I have, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but it it conflicts with already established settlements. This is really good if, you know, you've got a small settlement, you're not recruiting people, you got five guys, You don't. You, they have established roles, you don't want to put them in guard duty. But you also want to have high level of defense to convince the raiders not to come and fuck with your shit. This will let you do it. Be mindful, you will, you know, at a point, you will glitch the game and break the game. These are all Xbox One mods, these are all, this is what I play with. Next is one Asylum Thorn, and he really likes it. I didn't start liking it until I started setting it up in my own way. It is the Red Rocket Redux. By X Rabbit Pandas X. It is an amazing mod. It revamps the look of Red Rocket. It gives it a huge concrete retaining wall. The only complaint I have is I have found a glitch where if you it's loaded up right away, you can't get dog meat to respond to you. Dog meat won't talk to you at all. So I literally could not have progressed to the lake where we tracked down Kellogg. Thankfully I already knew where Kellogg was, so I just went over to where he was and I put a bullet in his head. I just shot him just point blank, just boom. Dead. Bye. Uh, it's a really nice mod. It just gives you a really nice player at home. It's it's super sexy, super just mm, amazing. Next, um, this is again uh, a lot of these are alternatives to the number one, and number one I have preached in the past. So number four is the Invisible Infinite Jetpack by Sergeant Bob Swagger. It comes with no fall damage. This gives you no extra DT or uh, armor rating. This is just, it pretty much turns your wedding ring into a Invisible Jetpack ring, which lets you just fly. So if you're building a sniper character like my one character I'm playing with, you want to get up high, but you don't want to break the game. You don't want to make it so you have an unfair advantage. So, now, this also has the tendency to let you fly as high as you want. I think I did sample one of the mods that let me do that, but I haven't tested it recently. But, it could have potential that you fly as high as you want. There is a barrier where it starts making you sink back down, but that's easily mitigated. You will have no fall damage. It's a really nice mod to have if you're looking for a jetpack and you don't want to use number one. Number three, you know, I think we've all been there. We've looked at the settlement workshop defenses, and they're all like, well, I can build the best one, but it costs so much effort to build it, 
and it doesn't give me anything really decent. That's where number three comes in. Strong workshop defenses by H. Johnson 12. It's an amazing mod. Uh, it lets you have all sorts of really nice turrets. Uh, the one, the, the settlement I was telling you about where it's just nothing but turrets. But building, every wall has a turret on it. There's like a hundred turrets all over the place. It is amazing. When coupled with no build limit, you can have rocket launchers, uh, cryolators, flamers, shotguns, uh, machine gun turrets. You, you know, it is amazing. If you take a look at my Red Rocket Redux uh, player home, there are so many turrets on the roof that there's no way you can approach it. At one point, I had just got done playing. I was about to load in and save the game in survival mode, and next thing you know, I hear all my turrets going off. So I rush outside with my gun, and I find all of these raiders just dead. I'm like, well, someone trespassed. It's really nice. I love it to death. Next is a mod, and it is the first mod I ever actually downloaded on the Fallout 4. This came from the fact that when I started out playing Fallout 4 with mods, I hated having the pipe pistol as my primary pistol. Or the 10mm. I wanted something that says, I'm an American and I want to kick ass. So I went and I called up. So I went and I got into the mod menu and I found the equalizer. This is a World War II Colt cool M1911 mod by Leo 2 Link. It is amazing. It gives you the gun. And I widely use this as my motto. You know, they say God made all men. Motherfucking Samuel Colt made him equal. And that's what this will do. Your opponent can come at you with a rough one of fucking ones. But when you got a two shot suppressed M1911 Colt, boom, boom. Dead. Done. Bye. It's an amazing gun. Gives you a good option. You can craft it almost immediately the minute you find a chemistry station. The issue I have is it doesn't cost anything to create it. It's a, it's a utility item. But uh, you, it does rely on the gun nut and everything else to upgrade it. To give it a suppressor, to give it all of its nice upgrades that I have on mine, you have to be pretty far in gun nut. You have to be invested in the gun nut. You have to do all the other stuff. But it's a really nice gun. It's a really good sidearm. If you're looking to replace that crappy 10mm and you want to step it up to the big boy round of the 45, it also comes with the standard 8 rounds. You have, a, I believe, a 7 round magazine, and it gives you the one in the chamber, but I'm not sure. Uh, so now for the animal mentions. Now these are some that me and Asylum both play with. He usually disables quite a bit of these because he doesn't like them. So, uh, we've got Place Anywhere by Registrator2000. Just what the name says, it lets you place any of your items anywhere. It is incredibly good. There is nothing more fun than placing a machine gun bubble turret from the Stronger Workshop defenses inside of a tree and watching the raiders try to figure out where they're getting shot at from and trying to engage it. <laughs> it's hilarious. It can't... I don't think it does that. I think I, I think I glitched it in there. I'm not sure. It's been a little while. I disabled that mod a while back just because I just didn't need it. Next is another cleaning mod. This will allow you to scrap anything that's in your way in the Commonwealth. It is called Clean, Cleaning the Commonwealth by Miller by Miller Pop 31. So I, I have all my mods wrote down right here. Because I wouldn't remember them otherwise. Uh, it's really nice. I've used it quite a bit to scrap stuff that are in my way. If my opponent's like hiding behind stuff, I just scrap the shit just to shock them. The AI is really fun to fuck with in Fallout 4. Next comes Asylum's favorite thing. When he first played Fallout 4 here at the house with me, he jumped right into survival mode and he quickly realized wait a minute, I can't. I can't say, I can't heal, I'm having issues here. I want to camp. Um, so, I, we spent the better part of an hour looking for a good camping mod. Well, we found this. 
Conquest, build new settlements and camping by Chiza, by Chesco, C-H-E-S-K-O. Incredible. Sorry if I mispronounced any of the mod authors' names. I am shit at that. It is good. Uh, it lets you build your, it lets you build settlements or camping areas anywhere in the Commonwealth. Uh, Asylum's built one right next to the Mechanist Lair just because he wanted to be an asshole about it. I build them on the overpasses. It's really good if you want to turn the overpass into a bunker, into a base that just gives you overwatch. It's really nice. I love it. I usually don't use it though. I stick to the normal settlements, but... Sorry guys. It's really nice. And now we get to number one. Now, me and Asylum both have our ups and downs about this. I love the mod. It comes with a lot of good guns, a lot of fun stuff. But it does come with a drawback. The AI will be given these as well. So, it is Modern Firearms slash Sidearms by Idle Sheep. You install them both and you get sidearms and firearms. But what it doesn't include in the name is you also get some armor. You get all sorts of armor. You get a jetpack. You get a breathing mask. You get all this stuff that you can purchase and loot off of people. It's really nice. I think by the end of it, uh, I came out with like 500 points of damage resistance of armor and like 300 rad resistance. Plus my jetpack and increased carry weight backpack. You know, it's really nice. Uh, me personally, what I like is I like the MGL, the multiple grenade launcher. Give it the unlimited effect so you never run out of it. The never ending effect so you never have to reload it. Because it's slow as to reload. You can modify the ammo so your grenade, your 40 millimeter grenades, you can make them so they explode and shrapnel. You can make it so they explode with a nuclear velocity. Then you have my 88 millimeter, uh, pretty much cannon. It is, it, there is nothing more fun than sitting on an overpass, seeing a super mutant beam, and then just go BOOM! And just one-shotting the crap out of that motherfucker. You've got your Baron M82 sniper rifle, with 12 times zoom. You can see a pimple on a boat fly's ass with that motherfucker. It, what it's lacking is, I, I really didn't care for the sidearms portion of it. That's why I have the M1911 and the 941 Jericho. It's a really good mod, though, if you're looking to branch out from the normal game and you want to give your opponents some good guns. What I found is the Raiders tend to like uh, the shotguns with Dragon's Breath, which have a knockback effect or a knockdown effect. And that's just normal because it's using Dragon Breath slugs. They're using an incendiary slug. But it's a really nice mod. And I just... It's... Mmm, it's nice! I love it! It wasn't until recently that I took it down and started using the Assault Carbine mod. Just because I don't... I wanted to stray away from that. So if you guys like this video... Go check out some of these mods. They're on the Xbox One. I'm not sure if they're on the PS4 or the PS3 or whatever PlayStation this is on. Or they're on the PC. I assume they are. But they're really nice. They're really fun. And I guarantee you, you're going to have some fun with it. Uh, the cheat terminal is really fun. It lets you give all... Just a little FYI, if you're like me and you want to build like an evil character, the cheat terminal is really fun because it lets you get all the building components. I have a massive death arena in Sanctuary Rose on my evil character. Where I have three death claws, three allies, three super mutants, three raiders, and three gunners fighting to the death. All for my entertainment. The winner gets to die by my hand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my mods and the top 10 mods for JR Trunks 21 and Asylum. If you did, leave a like down in the description. Leave a like on the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, guys, Fallout is only a frame of mind. God, that shit. I didn't outro.
See you guys next time.